Yo, what's up, everyone? So, um, today, uh, I'm just gonna be doing, um, dude, I can't remember what I was about to be doing. Okay, so I was about to be doing the, uh, am I retarded, bro? Yo, what's up, everyone? So, oh my god, bro. I Yo, what's up, everybody? So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get my i9, my settings, my stretch res, um, my FOV. I don't even know what else there is, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking about like my settings, so I just figured I'm gonna do it in like a single video rather than like telling everyone individually. Um, I haven't made one of these in like a little bit. I think the last time I did was like about a year ago. So first, what you want to do is go into my Discord. So um, when we're there. You want to go into the I and I and crosshair section. This is where you're gonna find all of my I and I's, my older videos. This is like the one I made um, a little bit ago. Um, some of these I and I's are outdated. Um, so like this is the one I use right now. Um, I don't think you're gonna want to use any of these, but like they're there just in case. Um, up here is my um, reshade settings, and this is old, so don't don't copy this. Anyway, so to install i and i, you're gonna want to go to your program files. Um, if you're using Steam, just follow what I'm doing. So you want to go to program files. You're gonna scroll down to Steam. Then you're gonna go to Steam apps, common, and then you're gonna choose Arc. So from here, you want to do the engine config, and then console variable. I forgot to mention this, but for Epic Games, you want to go to Local Disk, Program Files, and Epic Games, and your ARC should be in the first folder. Um, and then basically, you just want to open that up and follow the same exact steps. Now, yours will look a little bit different because I already have my I and I in, but basically what you're going to want to do is go to here, go to my I and I crosshair, copy and paste this, and then paste it in here. And now you can either close it and hit save, or you can press Control S and it does the same exact thing. You're gonna make sure that it says startup at the top here and not anything else before it, because that will mess up and it won't affect uh, the game. So yeah, close out of it, and that's done. It's pretty easy to change um, your FOV. You wanna go to shooter game, saved, config, Windows No Editor, and then game user settings. There's a lot of things you can change in here, but to find your FOV, um, actually I have an order, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like 14 down, 13 or 14 down, it'll be right here, and you should basically just want to change the first two numbers, um, don't change this, only change these, I wouldn't recommend going below 2.5, because this is actually just like regular, um, in-game stuff so if you want to make it higher than what it is to the maximum fov slider and which is 2.5 or 0.25 um don't make it any lower than this and then don't um change it past these four zeros or else it's gonna look really bad another thing that i think you might um want to know is put these both the true use old third person camera trace in my opinion it's better for fabian aim and um, other stuff, I'll show you what it looks like in game, but, um, that should be the only things you change in this thing, or uh, the only things I recommend to change, you can definitely change other stuff, um, I, yeah, you can close out this now, I have a NVIDIA graphics card, you can go into the NVIDIA control panel, and then over here where it says display, um, for me, it's 1600 by 1080, but you can customize this here, and then, you can create create new custom resolution. So for me, I'll just do um, 1680 by 1000 or 1680 by 1800. I can't even do. It. I don't really think this matters over here. Um, and then you can hit test, and then it will say the test has been successful, and then it will say that it has been applied. Do you want to save this resolution? For you, you're gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say no. Um, okay, to fix this. You're gonna want to go to adjust desktop size and position, and then you're gonna go wanna to adjust this. You're gonna want to hit adjust desktop size and position. So from here, you want to go to aspect ratio, and this will stretch the image so that it won't have the black bars on the screen. Um, other than that, 
um, this will only work on monitors and like desktops. So if you have like a laptop, uh, you can't do stretch res. Um, Alright, so I'm back and I got the um, the arc up right now. Alright, so this is my normal settings. Um, view distance to epic because with the view distance, wait, no, I don't know what's up. I don't think that's right actually. Uh, I put this to high. I think that's what I do. Anyway, um, yeah, I usually just put it windowed full screen. Um, if you want to use, cro dude, my Discord's going off. Um, and so if you want to have the custom crosshair, I'm not really sure if that works anymore, but, but yeah, if you want to have the, um, custom crosshair, you want to do Windows full screen, um, everything else I just put to low, alright, and then put the resolution scale up to max, and then for textures I put high, um, and that's about all I changed. I untuck these two boxes. And then for advanced settings, these are my advanced settings. Uh, you might want to pause the video here if you want to copy them. Um, for my keyboard bindings, like, I don't know why you want to copy that, but, like, um, yeah, I'll give you some time to look at that. So, to create a new character, you want to go to female. Um, I have a preset already made, so put everything to low. Uh, on the legs, you put the feet to big. I don't know if you want to do that anymore, though. The people tech rifle in you. I don't really think it changes that much, but yeah, just keep it as small, probably. Um, arms, you put the arm length to high or all the way over to the right, and then hand length all the way to the right. Everything else you want to leave in the torso, you want to leave this all to the left. And for head, all you want to do is go to head size the max, and I think that's it. Um, skin color, you know, you can do whatever you want. I don't discriminate, obviously. So, we're gonna be jump rolling with the um, the melanin today. So, um, name your character. Um, so, and we're gonna go check out if the setting actually worked. Um, it probably should have. I don't really know how. Okay, this is taking too long. Bro, okay, we get it. Dude, I can't tell if that's different. I think it is different. Yeah, I think it is. So, yeah, um, that's how you get that. Um, my i9 stuff will be in the description. Or no, in the Discord. That's in the description. Um, to go over the last thing, um your your nvidia stuff um what you want to do is put alt f3 oh why is my thing like not on the right um screen okay so i think i fixed it oh my god what is happening bro oh yeah i think i fixed it um my screen is in stretch this looks really stretched i'm not gonna lie to you um why does it look so stretched? Anyway, um, I forgot what I was doing. Yeah. Oh yeah. So look at the GeForce uh and the the game filter thing. So um oh I don't even have any filters. Um okay. So what you want to do? Okay, you gotta go to my Discord. Hold on, it's loading. Um okay. So yeah, you're gonna go to my Discord. I'm gonna go I not cross her, you know, you're gonna find one of these, you know, this video is actually pretty good. Um, I made this like actually like almost last year. Um, so yeah, I like choose one of these. So this is my reshade thing. Yeah, I'll show you how to use it. So you wanna press Alt F three and that should bring up the game filter. You need to have uh, G Force experience downloaded. Um and so you're gonna add filter. And then you're gonna go to the color, and you want to go to tint color 100%, tint intensity 15%. Oh, that's kind of hard. Okay, temperature to you want to keep it at zero. In environments, you're gonna put it at 100, and close it. And then you want to go to details. Uh, let's see if I can find it, bro. I don't know where to. All right, I haven't used this in so long. Um, sharpen to I don't know what that is. 11%, I think, too. Um, clarity, no, sharpens at 15. 
Um, yeah, right there. Uh, clarity at negative 100. Um, blue, you want to put to zero too. And then for HDR toning, you want to put that 87%. 87, 86. Oh my god, bro. Chill. Alright. 88% is good enough. Um, but yeah, you can kind of mess around with that. This is what it looks like with uh, my settings. It's kind of like more vibrant and stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it, though. Um, if you guys have any more questions, I know a lot of people get uh, a lot of questions with this, and sometimes like the like the filters they don't work. Um, I don't really know how to help you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, usually that happened to me before, but like usually it just fix itself like the next day. So I don't I don't know how to help you. Um, maybe other people do in my Discord or like in the comments. Like if you guys see someone with that question, I have no clue how to how to fix that. Um, if you know how to fix that, you know, you can put that in my, uh, comments too. Um, yeah, but anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'm out of school finally, so hopefully I can start uploading more or not. Um, I really just, you know, it depends on like what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed, uh, I don't know when the next video is going to be. Bro, this has got to be the worst tutorial. Dude, I can't even speak. Dude, it's got to be the worst tutorial video I've ever seen in my life that I've ever created or I've, I've ever seen created, bro. But it don't matter because, like, um, it just don't. So, yeah, anyway, hope you guys, like, got a little something from this. Um, You probably didn't. You probably, like, mad confused. You probably still are mad confused and you're going to have to go look up another one. But it's all right. Um... Yeah, hopefully a new video this week. Probably not, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, alright. Um, have fun with this video. Or don't. It don't matter.